Welcome to the Overs Town. Now, today is the coldest day in the history of November, and to match with that idea, we are going to talk about the Ice Climbers, the characters that no one mains in Super Smash Brothers and are often forgotten about as Nintendo independent property altogether. They only have one game in the series, and it came out over 30 years ago, and until Super Smash Brothers Melee came out, no one even knew who they were. And even then, they couldn't even hold their place in that game, because Smash 4 took them out before bringing them back in the Switch version. I mean, really, when was the last time someone said to you, hey, you know what you should play? You should play Ice Climbers. Isn't it fantastic? Well, for me, that was last week. Someone was actually upset that I put Ice Climbers in the D tier list of my NES tier ranking game list video thing. And within that, they were upset and felt that I should give it another, another chance to perhaps move up a tier. Well, today we're gonna do no other than that. We're gonna be taking a look back at Ice Climber and to see, does it need to go up a tier? Does it need to stay at the tier it's at? Well, perhaps it needs to drop down a tier. Today on the Ogle Channel, it's Ice Climbing time. Ice Climber is actually older than the Super Mario Brothers by a few months. Yep, before there was a power duo of Mario and Luigi, there was Popo and Nana. Now, Popo and Nana were enjoying their life in their beautiful ice kingdom, just happy as could be, when one day a giant condor comes down and steals their beloved vegetables. Now, there are so many problems with this basic, basic story. First, you can't grow vegetables in an ice world. Second, Condors don't live in cold climates. And third, condors don't even eat vegetables. And if they do, it's only from second hand after eating other animals who might have eaten vegetables. Thank you, internet, for all my new condor knowledge. So if the condor is stealing these vegetables, it is just out of the cruelty of his heart and not because he actually wants to eat and enjoy them. Which, does this mean the condor is the ultimate Nintendo villain since he just wants to watch the world suffer? Uh, some new respect there. But it is up to Popo and Nana to try to take back their vegetables, so off they go, climbing the mountain to defeat the condor. To climb the mountain, you just simply jump up, bash a hole in the ceiling with your mallet, and then jump through it to proceed on your way. And this is actually way harder than it sounds because the controls are awful. And I mean awful. It takes me at least three tries to just jump through a single hole because you have to be perfectly precise on your aim. And I mean perfectly. It's ridiculous to me. And there are various obstacles to avoid in certain spots that won't break, but the whole concept is still just basically bash your way up the mountain. As you make your way to the top of this mountain, you will come across a variety of enemies trying to stop you, such as the Topi and this is what topies actually are, that fill in holes, nitpickers that dive bomb and try to hit you, and of course the polar bear who shows up when you take too long on the level to just do a nice little stomp and make the level go up faster to make the game even harder. Now, look at his outfit too though. Oh my, my lord, look at that. Now, if you avoid all these enemies and obstacles and you manage to get to the top of the mountain, you get a few vegetables and then you hitch a ride with the condor to the next mountain. I don't know why that's the way it works, but it is. You know, if you climb 32 mountains, you get to finish the game. Sorta. Once you finish the final mountain, you expect some sort of congratulations message, or you know, like a little end credits, but you don't even get a good job, or a horde of vegetables. You get absolutely nothing. You just simply get to start the game all over again with no congratulations at all. It'd be like finishing a marathon only to start a new one as soon as you cross the finish line. Now, I say all this because I truly do not enjoy this game very much. However, for its time, this game was a hot commodity. I mean, they sold over 1.5 million copies, which means it beat out other popular games like say Paper Mario or Mega Man 3. It was the 43rd best-selling NES game. You have to keep in mind, this was also one of the launch titles for the NES, and video games as we know it were just getting started. So this does allow it to be excused as being a victim of its era on some accounts, but I don't know, that only goes so far because you did have great games like Donkey Kong around this time period, or Pac-Man, that I don't consider crap. Now, also, despite how ridiculous the story is for this game, it does have charming characters and enemies. I mean, just look at them. They are fairly adorable. And what early game doesn't have ridiculous stories? I mean, Mario was a plumber who ate mushrooms and squished turtles. Need I say more? 
Now, what it really just all boils down with the ice climbers though, is how fun is the game itself? Now, I admit, I get extremely frustrated with the jumping in this game. The jumping is absolutely some of the worst on the entire NES system, if not worst of any system. I hate the jumping altogether. And I do hate how the game doesn't actually have an ending either. It just sort of loops back to the beginning. I don't like that either. There are some definite dislikes on this game and that, that really seem in my opinion on the D tier. However, after putting several hours into this game, trying to you know reevaluate for the review, give it a fair a fair shot, I did finally create a few few memories to go along with the game. And when anytime you create memories of something, it does strengthen the case for that game a little bit. And also, look at the characters in the game. The characters are are pretty adorable characters. They were well designed. I do like some of the enemies. They are just simply, I guess, charming in their own right. And so, I suppose, and this is this is a stretch for me. But I suppose Ice Climbers doesn't deserve the D tier. Perhaps, not perhaps, definitely. I am moving Ice Climber all the way from D tier, all the way up to C tier. We're gonna move to the entire and entire jump all the way to C tier. Now, can I foresee myself ever gonna come back to Ice Climbers? Yes, one day I can eventually foresee myself coming back to Ice Climbers, but until that day arrives, I am going to continue bashing the living crap out of them on Super Smash Brothers. Once again, this is the Opal Channel. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And we post every Tuesday and Thursdays. And so please, um, like I said, have a great rest of the day. And uh, oh, also, I'd like to give a shout out to this video to um, Brent.